In this video, I would like to share with you a must-have tool for Windows PCs that has more than 20 utilities to clean, optimize, and protect your PC. It's a must-have tool, and best of all, it's totally free to use. Let's get started. Let's have it downloaded and installed on your Windows PC. Let's launch your browser and search for Glary Utilities Download. And it should be this first link from the result. Click on it, and once you're at this page, under the free column, scroll down, and let's click on the download button to have it downloaded. Once downloaded, let's double click on the downloaded file, then confirm by clicking on yes. You'll see the setup page. Click next, then I agree. Uncheck this option if you're not interested in joining the customer experience program and finally install. And once you click on the finish button, you will see the main Glary utility window. And we should be at the overview tab. Here you can see your Windows boot time. Over here, if you look, you could see my Windows took 18 seconds to boot up. Now, if you're someone who cares about how long it takes for your PC to boot up, then here on the right, you can click on Startup Manager button. And here, you can disable many applications that might be slowing down your boot time. Here you can see it shows me all the enabled applications that start up whenever Windows starts. Now, this list will be different on your end depending on how many applications you have installed on your system. Now, to speed things up, Let's look for all the third-party applications that we can disable. If we ever need them, we can launch them manually. For example, here I can disable Google Drive and whenever I need it, I can just open it manually. No need for it to run in the background. The same goes for Microsoft Edge browser and the same thing for OneDrive. Also, from the schedule task column, here it lists all the enabled schedule tasks. These are tasks that are scheduled to run at specific time and date to do things like check for updates and you can safely disable some of them to reduce time. Under the load time column, it shows you how much time it's taken. Under the plugins, you can disable whichever ones you don't need. Now these are not affecting load time. However, look for the ones that do affect load time on your end. Under application services, Look for the ones that affect load time and disable them if you like. Under Windows Services, look for the ones that affect load time. So I'm going to disable Background Task Services, which will save me around 0.10 seconds. Scroll down and disable any that you don't want. And once done, close this window and let's go back. Here you can see some pro or paid services such as enable deep cleaning and fixing or enable automatic maintenance. However, you can do these tasks manually for free. From the left, let's click on one click maintenance, which should take us here where you have options for system maintenance, such as registry cleaner, shortcut fixer, disk repair, track eraser, temporary file cleaner, and startup manager. Let's select all of them then click on the Repair Issues button. Once the scan is complete, here on the right, it will show you if the issues have been resolved or if there were no issues found. Next, let's click on the Clean Up and Repair tab. And here you can see all kind of utilities that are totally free to use. The first one we're going to click on is the Disk Cleanup. Here on top, it shows you how much data you can free up by cleaning your disk. On the left, all the pre-selected directories are safe to delete, but you can make changes if you like. Click on the Start Cleaning button, and once it's complete, it will show you how much megabyte it has cleared out, and it should say zero megabyte left. Now let's close this window and go back. Now let's click on the Registry Repair, which should start scanning your registry for issues. If anything is found, the button on the right will change to repair registry and you need to click on it to fix the issues.
Next, let's click on the duplicate file finder. Now this will scan for duplicate files on your drive that will take space or create issues if it's a system file. So you can scan and either delete or exclude any that are found. You have other utilities like contacts menu manager and uninstall manager. If you click on the uninstall manager, you'll find all the applications installed on your PC, including ones that came pre-installed, which you cannot uninstall using the normal Windows uninstaller. For example, here I can uninstall Microsoft Edge. If I select it and right click on it, I get a couple of options. Select uninstall this program. And here you have the option to create a restore point before uninstalling. I'm just going to uncheck it for this demo. Select the program from the list and then click on uninstall. Once uninstalled, you'll have the option to remove all the leftover files. Leave everything checked and click on delete button. Now Microsoft Edge should be completely removed from the system. From the left menu, you have tabs like large programs and rarely used programs, which are good to go over and delete those that haven't been used in a long time. Also, you can uninstall Windows Update and Windows applications if you like. Close this window and let's go back. Next, let's click on the Optimize and Improve tab. Here you have a list of utilities such as Startup Manager, Disk Defrag, Memory Optimizer, Registry Defrag, Check Disk, Driver Manager, and Software Update. Let's click on the Memory Optimizer and here you can see your CPU usage and the physical memory usage graph all in real time. Under Manual Optimization, you have the option to indicate the amount of memory you want to free up. Then click on the Optimize. This is really useful if your RAM or memory usage is high and you want to lower it. Next is the Privacy and Security tab. Now here you have a list of utilities that handles various aspects of your privacy and security, such as Track Eraser, which erase all traces of cookies and internet history. This is essential if you care about your privacy. Once you click on it, it will scan and give you the option to delete traces. Click on the Erase Checked Tracks and confirm by clicking Yes. Another useful utility is the File Undelete, which basically retrieves accidentally deleted files. This can come in handy when you need it. Next is the File Encryptor, which protects your files from unauthorized access. Here you can add files you want to encrypt or password protect. Next is the File Unfolders tab. Here you'll find utilities such as Disk Space Analyzer, Let's click on it, then click on OK. It will start analyzing your disk and provide a breakdown of how the disk is being used and utilized. Another useful utility is the file splitter, which can split a large files into small manageable files and then reassemble them if needed. Now this can be useful if you're trying to send a large file in an email. Another utility is the quick search which does a better job of locating files and folders by name. Next is the System Tools tab. Here you have many useful utilities such as System Information, which is really useful for quickly looking up information about your computer, operating system, memory, drivers, display adapter, network, and other devices. Another utility is the Registry Backup, and registry restore, which are really useful if you are modifying the registry and need to restore the old registry if something goes wrong. Also, there is the repair system files, which is really useful for scanning and fixing corrupted Windows system files. And finally, you have system backup, the system restore, and undo changes, which restores all the changes made by the Glary utilities. With all these free utilities, this tool is at the top of my list of programs installed on my PC. I hope you like it. If you do, please like and subscribe. Until next time, bye for now.